Yo, what's good? It's your boy Bike with another video. Today, we are going to be talking about an application that allows you to mirror whatever you have on your computer to your tablet. And this application is called Super Display. I haven't tested this thing out. I haven't even downloaded it yet. I wanted to wait, kind of get some um, true reactions to it, and it saves me time. So, <laughs> let's get into it if you are new to the channel welcome i do content just like this every single week helping our artists hit that subscribe button so i already got the super display website pulled up and we will just scroll down to the windows driver and download that okay now while that is downloading what we're gonna also do is downloaded on my tablet we already got that pulled up so so we already got that pulled up hit install we'll hit open on that uh thanks for downloading super display super display is not a free application but you can try it for up to three days you should should you face any issues during your trial you can get help at super display app slash okay blah 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 uh, in order to feel okay hello please connect usb cable or connect via wi-fi oh do i have a long in fact i do <laughs> yes i do i do have a long usb uh usb c cable right here bam there we go finish allow super display access uh, okay now it is connected okay screen mode is on got it okay so let's let's open up clip studio paint this is this is interesting let's open up clip studio paint where's my cursor oh my cursor is on that screen you see it right there and i got like three different screens going on right now uh should i show it maybe let's let's show it so y'all can see what's what's really going on so you got my tablet right here my um s7 tablet hooked up via a usb c and then behind there i have my cintiq acting as a, another screen and then i have my other screen right here my main screen is right here okay so we have my main screen right here i wanted to show this display settings so you see i have three uh, monitors is registering three monitors now i usually only have two my main monitor and this is my cintiq three is my samsung s7 plus it seems to be working rather i just downloaded the app i mean it's it's seamless i didn't have to go through any type of like troubleshooting or anything like that now I just open up clip studio paint and this is very this is this is very interesting see i can use my tab mate with this simply because it's using it as a display that's cool so i got clip studio paint all set up ready to draw on so let's let's see how it performs you know it it says it's not not really supposed to have uh lag like that so let's see okay that's that's not bad that's not bad yeah you can see the lag uh, you can see it for a little bit i feel like but that's that's not bad that's that's not you can still draw on this Look at that. Wow. It's pretty good. Pretty good. And then they have a function like right up here where you can cut off the touch. You can cut off the touch. So I like that. So I have it right there. There we go. You have touch mode. Looks like they have different modes. Lock mode. What is that? Oh, oh you can adjust. Okay, you can move that. You can move that down there. You got touch mode and lock mode. Okay. But this is this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. So two things. There's two things that I see just right off the bat. Number one, I'm gonna have to adjust the fonts, the font size or whatever. It's just they're very small right now. I can barely see them. Number two, number two is I don't know the use case scenario of this. Although this is 
this is cool like this is cool the app so far works i had no problem uh installing it or whatever it it works clearly y'all see it but why would i draw on the s7 when i have a cintiq 22 like right up there or why would you who have a computer pay 600 something dollars for this right here to draw on it where you could just get the walk on one for 400 uh, y'all see what i'm saying like i don't it, as far as drawing i don't really see a use a good use case scenario for this like i really i really don't and you know but but it is a good application and i want to give a shout out uh i forget i forget the person name but uh they commented they commented and wanted me to review this super display and although it it, it works beautifully like I don't, I don't really see a use case for myself or really other people trying to get into digital art i don't i, I don't know i don't know let, let me know down in the comments below now i can use this um it just as far as my videos my you know um uh, you know extra screens um i guess in, in in the drawing process is is wonderful you know you can have your reference right here you're drawing on here you're watching anime over here you know what i'm saying i i, I can see that but like just using this just for like purely drawing on it yeah, I, I don't know i don't know let me know in the comments below but anyway, I hope you got some type of value out of this video today. If you did, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button. And as always, I'll holler at y'all next time. Believe that.